Hey guys, Life here from iTech. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a new user into your Konica Minolta MFD if you have user authentication enabled. So if you come over here, uh, you can see, you will know that you have user authentication enabled if you have this kind of screen at the at the as your login screen where you have to put in a username and password so to enter another user we're going to hit the menu button at the top then you can see the utility button here we're going to click on that and log in to administrator settings so we select number three you need to know your administrator password for this hit ok we're going to go into number four, user authentication account track. We're going to go into number two, user authentication settings. And we're going to go into number two, user registration. So this is where we can add more users. Uh, and to add a new user, in this case, I don't have any users created yet. So I'm going to create, click on the first button that is available that hasn't already been registered. You would see a name there if it was registered. So I'm going to click on number one, I'm going to go edit, and I'm going to put in my username and password. You can also put in an email. You don't have to put the email in, but if I go there, I'm going to put in my name as the username. I'm going to put in a password. So this has to be a unique password for every user on your system. You can put in whatever you want as the password and confirm that. Uh, we can put in an email, I'm just going to leave that blank now, but if we put in an email, uh, that's fine too. And uh, we're going to hit OK. And we're going to close all the way out, or you can continue to add more users. Close out when you're ready. And if I try now to log in, just to test it, I can put in my name and my password. Hit OK, log in, oops, uh, I'll just do that again. Uh, I forgot to say the uh, username is case sensitive, very important. So I had my name with a capital L and log in. And now you can see I'm logged in and you can see the username of the, of the user that is logged in there. If we want to log out, we can hit the access button on the side. And that's it. That's how we create a new user.